My daughter in Paris is going to the countryside. Her and Adrian are taking a little trip to Turin. I think in French they pronounce it Turin. That's a lovely area outside of Paris that is known for its chateaux. But you know what I want to find out about? As I hear there's some wonderful goat cheese in that area of France. So, Adrian, Sarah, tell me everything you know about the wonderful cheeses in Thailand. Sarah? What are you doing? Oh, I was just reading a cookbook. Yeah. You realize we haven't had lunch and it's already 3.30? Really? We're going to a farm that's near here. It's a mother who's nearly a hundred with her three children. And uh, she's forbidden her children to get married. Her daughter, Yvette, wanted to get married in her 20s, but she obeyed her mother, and, but she said to her mother, um, I won't, I'll obey you, I'm not going to marry my boyfriend, but from now on I'm never going to cut my hair again. And she's kept her word, she's in her 70s now, and she's never cut her hair. Amongst other things, they produce goat's cheese, and that's why we're going now, because... Uh, they produce what? Goat's cheese. It ferments for 24 or 36 hours. Oui. Et après c'est prêt. Oui. Et meilleur que le fromage de vache. Pour la santé. Vous savez pas. So it's better from the cholesterol point of view. Elle dit j'en mange plus du cholestérol. Oui, parce qu'il y a de la matière grasse. Mm. Mais autrement, le lait de chèvre est très, très bon, très nourrissant. Ouais. Yeah. Il y a des, en, des milk enfants. Le lait de chèvre est très bon et très Des enfants qui sont élevés au lait de chèvre. Ah. Mais pour les tarchambos, ils sont élevés au lait de chèvre. 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 Ils sont on her arm, and the doctor said to drink goat's cheese, goat's milk. Oh. She's asleep again. Honey, are you there? Now, I've been working all morning, I'm really hungry. What? I thought we could have that chevre show that you were going to prepare. Oh, yeah, the chevre show. You know, the, sh the oh, goat's yeah, cheese right. we brought from Yvette? Now I'm going to make a very classic French lunch meal, which is called chèvre chaud, which means hot, warm goat's cheese. And normally you just uh, you put it on a baguette, toast, Alors le, le copain nous a dit qu'il avait reçu une carte, une carte, il était parti en vacances de Pau, mm. et nous on n'a rien reçu. Oh non, mais il pourrait venir nous voir nous donner des nouvelles, hein. mm. c'est pas grave. Vous voyez Clarisse est bien habituée là-bas, je crois, à Chinois. Monsieur Cristo accidentally bought ciabatta instead of a baguette. And, and so I'm going to improvise here because the reason a, a, sorry about the flies. The reason that a baguette is good is because a baguette is round and as you can see the goat's cheese is round and it would correspond perfectly with little slices from a baguette. But I'm just going to take a little bit off the end. Yeah. Although I kind of like the ash bit. Well, don't take it then for you. Is that, do you think that's a good enough? No, maybe I should be, it'd be thicker than that, no? That's about right, yeah. A little bit thicker, maybe? By the way, the bread, you know, it was a labeling error at the bakery. They said, Oh, is that really? Baguette compagnard, country baguette. They didn't say it was Italian bread. Oh, so it's their, it's their fault. Yeah, so it's not 
Monsieur Cousteau. It's always Monsieur mm. Cousteau's fault, isn't it? Even, I mean, I hate to, you don't even need to make this hot because it's, it's delicious, it's delicious, right? I mean, the smell, the smell that is. Mm. Well, I think this is about right. What do you think? Uh, yeah, but the goat's cheese should be bubbling slightly, which it is. Do you think is. it's done enough, or should I put it back in? It looks a bit better, don't you? They're a little browner, yes. They're okay. not quite melted. No. That's but fine. I, think, I think they're right, about right. And how are you going to present them? Well, the salad's already made, you know, um, and I'm just going to scatter them over the salad, like that. So, this is... Last one. The very classic French recipe, isn't it? Yeah. Sarah, looking forward to it. Who is it? Delicious. Try it. Okay. Oh, this does look yummy. Mm. French women love it. It's low on calories. Yeah, she also said it was... Good for people who have bad cholesterol. Of course, it's low fat.